Hi, now this is something that uh, I'm really excited about. What's happened is I've been selling the DVDs on how to run the three-phase motors using the transformer method. But what's happened is I've gotten calls and emails from people in Canada, people in England, people in Australia, and there is a slight challenge where they don't have the common availability of 240 volt motors. They can't go down to this, you know, the scrap yard or the surplus place and buy a mill or a, mach a machine, a lathe or something like that. And, it, and it's not going to have a 240 volt motor. Or it's not going to have a 460 volt motor that can be rewired for this lower voltage, 240. All their stuff is like in Canada, a lot of stuff's 550 or 500. In uh, the European Union, it's 415 volts. Australia, 415 volts. So these people have to go out and find a transformer, but they, also, they have to find the right transformer. And what happens is you have, some of them have said that they have had trouble finding a transformer. They could not find a transformer. So I've shown people how to make your own transformer. It's not that hard. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm giving you a little demonstration of something I think is really neat, really slick way to go. Okay, right here under my little jacket there is our transformer. We, we wound the transformer, you can see it's about, it's about this big, made out of an old used motor thing, you know. But it has no moving parts, okay. But anyway, it's about this big, it's messy, it's got a lot of wires because we were testing it. But this transformer is uh, homemade and we've probably got about 800 feet of 12 gauge wire on there and, and some little bits of 10 here and there that I spliced in at the end. So you do have an expense of wire. I mean, you're not, it, you got to have something to make the thing run. But so we're going to turn the transfer. Let me, no, let me show you right over here. I got the board here. And I've, those of you who have my the videos and stuff like that, obviously you know what this stuff is. But I've got, I had four start capacitors series parallel. I disconnected. This one has been disconnected right here simply because the start relay wasn't working correctly, which I also show in the video. Here's the start relay right here. Over here, focus in. Can you get that focused in there, Christopher? This is a little star relay. This is uh, JPR 68, I think. From you can have $17 from McMaster Car, and I'm just showing you, of course, that even when you're running the motor on 400 and, and 500 volts, you can still use these little relays. They work fine. We just adjust the taps on the transformer where we take off the signal voltage. So let's start the transformer up, and I'll disconnect that so the motor doesn't start. But there's the transformer running. Now, you can hear it, you know, makes a little bit of a hum, okay? So now if, if we were going to have something run, that's the noise that you have. You have that noise. You have to have to listen to this noise all day long if you leave the transformer on all day long, you know. Uh, it's not like a rotary. It's, you don't hear it that much. But anyway, uh, oh, uh, let's focus over on that meter there, the amp input amps, Christopher. You can see the input amps, we got two amps uh, of, that's what the idle loss of this transformer is. Okay, so let's, let's turn it off and let's show you the start relay. Okay, focus back on the start relay here. I know there's a lot of zooming around here, but that's the way it's got to go, you know. Okay, all the way back to start relay. I know it's a long stretch there, but just so we can do it. Okay. Now we're going to run the motor on the five. We're stepping our 240 volt input up. We're running the motor through our home built transformer and we'll start it up. Okay, start relay works great, not a problem in the world. Okay, go back to the meters there. Okay, you've got the 4.6 horsepower regenerative blower. The input's blocked off to give it a, a little bit of a load. You've got 14.5 amps in. You've got, on the, amp, the running amps, you got 6 amps, 5.6, 5.6. So they're balanced within like, actually, probably less than 4 tenths of an amp difference there. On the voltages, you can see the voltage on the left is we're running the, we're running the whole system. We decided to run it at 490 volts, okay? I went to the 490. Uh, you've got 485 and 492 or so. So you have a difference in the voltage, you know, probably, you know, at any 
one point in time, maybe 10 volts, 10 volts out of 500 volts. That's extremely good voltage regulation on that. 14.6 is a, a nice low input we saw on the, when the rotary converter was running the same regenerative blower, it was drawing about 19.5 to 20 amps. So we're saving about five to six amps of wasted electricity by using this system here. And the transformer is homemade. We've got about 800 feet of 12 gauge copper wire on there. And it's running this whole setup. And we could adjust this. If we wanted 550, we could make it 550. If we wanted 415, we could make it 415. We're in charge because we're the ones making the transformer. We could have any voltage we want. And we're running it on the 240 input, we could make that, if we had 330 volt input, we could do that. If we had 180 volt input, we could do that. If we had low voltage at our place, because we were at the end of the power line, we could wind the transformer to compensate for the low input voltage.